Hi everyone, I know it's been months since I made a video and there's good reasons for that, but I'm glad to be back. Um, I went for an overseas trip in February as part of a long-term prepping plan, which I'll have more on that in a future video, hopefully very soon, now that my life is kind of back in order and settled. But I do have two more overseas trips planned for this summer. So I'm gonna be very busy, but I'm gonna try to squeeze in a lot of videos as many as I can. Right now, as many of you know, um, I live in a hurricane country, right? So I am prepped for hurricanes for power outages. <laughs> Inadvertently, I've had an opportunity to test some of my preps because we've had record heat here in the last week or so. And you know what always happens? You have a problem, right? My AC went out, but this also allowed me an opportunity to test my preps. And I've mentioned this in the past. You can't test your preps enough. You wanna make sure that uh, everything is functioning properly and also that you remember how to use it. Because sometimes if you don't use equipment uh, over a long period of time, you get rusty. Everybody does, human nature, right? So it's nice that this, I wouldn't say nice that this happened, but it's fortuitous that this happened because it gives me an opportunity to test my preps. And specifically what I'm gonna show you today is my AC. I have preps in place to cool down the master bed slash bathroom. So that is a respite for everybody to go and spend time when they get overheated um, or to sleep soundly in cool, comfortable uh, environment. So I run that directly off solar panels during the day and a solar generator that I built myself um, several years ago um, overnight. So I'm gonna show you both of those. So let me apologize in advance this isn't going to be a fancy edited video. It's going to be a lot of jump cuts, etc. because quite honestly, I have a lot of S going on right now. Um, but I thought it was important to get this information out to you, seeing how I'm going through it myself. So with that being said, let's get techie. So this is the actual unit that I'm using right now. It's an Arctic King 5000 BTU unit, uh, which is plenty for the master bed and bath. It's brand new just about. I took it out of the box once to test it and then I put it back in. It's been in storage ever since. And I also have a backup because if you have one, you have none. If you have two, you have one. So this is my backup. It's another 5,000 BTU unit. Um, and both of these were about $150. So let's go see what I got going on. So what I'm going to show you now, this is actually my first solar setup that I built. There are two 210 watt panels on top of my pergola where I keep my barbecue grill. And inside I have a 1000 watt pure sign inverter, 120 amp hour Calb cells uh, homemade battery. And uh, I have the power cord as you can see right now running out and all the way down into my AC in my bedroom. So I usually keep this covered up when I'm running it just to keep the sun off the inverter, let it get a little airflow. Um, and then you can see the cord going down, around, and I'll show you the rest of that in a minute. But I wanted to show you what we have going on. So hopefully you can read that. Um, basically the input right now is 46.2 volts, 3.7 amps. So you're looking at, well, there it goes. It's getting a little over a little, we're getting a little over 300 watts in. Like, like you can see, as long as it's sunny, uh, we're doing good. We can run this pretty much all day with very little loss. So let's follow it in now. You see, I just run the cable. So this is one of the shortcomings that I did find. I have a long cable that's three pronged, but it's in use right now. So I need to get myself an additional power cord that's three prong to run the AC. So as you can see, we're in the master now and we are pulling 420 watts. Let's check the amperage. 3.92, that's AC. So you can see 
we are on high cool and max cool so this is as high as it gets and it's coming out cold like i said this is running completely on solar power during the day i've actually shown this in a past video but i have two solar panels on my garage roof feeding through the wall and down into my ab switch feeding down into my portable power station so you can see it's charging right now it's mm, maybe half to two-thirds full right now i'm going to keep it on here the rest of the day uh, so it's fully charged at night and i do have a video on this if you want to check it out it's not a step-by-step -step instruction video but it will show you all of the different components this is a 280 amp hour 12.8 volt battery the bms it's got a 1200 watt pure sine inverter dc output and it's got a fan that i can turn on to cool it two vents it's got a light for at night that'll run for weeks with the power supplied but right now we're going to take it in and i'm going to show you how i use this at night to run the ac in the master bedroom slash bathroom okay so as you can see i dragged it in i usually do this at night but i'm doing it in the day just for the sake of lighting so you can see exactly what goes on you can see it has a handle it's on wheels totally transportable i actually got this uh, at one of the big box stores if you read the brand name you'll know where i got it from um, so i disconnected my pigtail for charging and you can see the battery status the battery status is 13.4 volts should be ready to go so we turn on the inverter plug it in over on this side water is zero so sorry about it being sideways hopefully you can see it but the water is zero now we're going to turn on the AC. Low fan is first. I usually let that spool up first, then I go to low cool. Then we hit high cool. We're still at max cool on the temperature setting and it's pumping out cold air. So let's see what we have on the front first. Battery status is 13 volts. So it did do a little voltage dip when it hit. Now let's check and see what we're pulling here. So hopefully you can see it. 411 watt, amperage is 3.66. Once again, that's AC. So, like I said, Depending on these settings that I use for the air conditioner, usually I run it, um, it's been running all day, so I just put it on low cool and then uh, turn it down a little bit to maybe like five. And once I'm in bed, you know, I don't know the difference as long as it's relatively cool, I'm comfortable and I can sleep. So there you have it. This is what I do at night. Right now I'm gonna take it back out, hook it back up to the solar, make sure it's fully charged and ready to go this evening. And it should get me through the night. So hopefully you learned something today. I know I did. Um, as much time as you spend preparing, getting your preps ready, etc., for difficult times, you can miss things. For instance, my 100-foot extension cord, I have a thick gauge 100-foot extension cord that I usually use for this, but it's being used for something else right now. So now what did I find out? I need another one. I don't want to have to put two extension cords together to run that AC because it's a long run and that is a liability point. If it rains or something, it could short out and we don't want that, right? So um, I found a weakness. I'm going to correct that. But um, hopefully, like I said, you got an idea of how I do things. Um, like I said, this is just the safe haven that we have to go to um, when it gets really hot, right? That master bedroom slash bath will be cool all day running off the solar pergola and the inverter in there um, as long as it's sunny 
and all night being the portable power station that I built and I charged during the day. And as of my testing period over the last two days when my central AC has been out, that's been giving me 24 hours of air conditioning in that room, which when it's 96 degrees outside is friggin' awesome. So anyways, hope you learned something in this video. Please like. And there you have it. <laughs> They're on their way, so that's good. Um, my AC is going to get checked out. But um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So hopefully you learned something from watching this video as I did while making it. Um, if you like my video, enjoy my content, please uh, hit the bell button so you are notified when I have new videos coming out. Like the video if you like it. If you don't, don't like it, right? Um, and also, if you have any uh, ways that I can improve my system or any other thoughts or ideas that could help anybody else, please share the video and comment below. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm glad to be back. I'll see you next video. Thanks.